is Thursday, April 11th. The Hour of Laws on Thursday begins on page 60. The chapter is from the Federal Office in Lent on page 250. The short response and hymn on page 247. The Antiphon on the Benedictus and the Collect are on page 263. We will also commemorate St. Leo. His antiphon and versicle response are on three star, and his proper collet is on page 510. There are no other commemorations and no suffrage of the saints at the conclusion of the hour. <coughs> Open my mouth, O Lord, and bless thy holy name. Cleanse my heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten mine understanding and kindle my affections that I may fittingly recite this office with attention and devotion, and so may be thee to be heard before the presence of thy divine majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, in union with that divine intention, wherewith thou thyself didst offer my praises to God while upon the earth, I now recite this office to thee, our Father. God may speak to safety. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Praise be to thee, O Lord, King of eternal glory. God be merciful unto us and bless us. And show us the light of his countenance, and be merciful unto us. That thy way may be known upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Yea, let all the people praise thee. O let the nations rejoice and be glad. For thou shalt judge the folk righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase. And God, even our own God, shall give us his blessing. God shall bless us. And all the ends of the world shall fear him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be. World without end, Amen. Against the only, have mercy upon me, O God, after thy great goodness. According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness. And cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against me only have I sinned and done this evil in my sight. That thou mightest be justified in thy saying, and clear when thou art judged. Behold, I was shaken in wickedness, and in sin hath my mother conceived me. But lo, thou proclaimest truth in the inward parts. And shall to make me to understand wisdom seeking Thou shalt purge me with this hook, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear joy and gladness. Thou that dwellest with silence, let me may rejoice. Turn thy face from my sins, and put out all my misdeeds. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a bright spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O oh, give me the comfort that I hold again, and establish me with thy free spirit. Then shall I teach thy ways unto the wicked, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from what guiltiness of God, thou that art the God of my help, and my tongue shall sing of thy righteousness. Thou shalt open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall show thy praise. For thou desirest no sacrifice, so must that I give it thee. But thou delightest not in burnt offerings. 
The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, shalt thou not despise. O be favorable and gracious and desire. Build out the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou sacrifice of righteousness, with the burnt offerings and oblations. Then shall they offer young bullocks upon thy altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 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 I have cried day and night before thee. O let my prayer enter into thy presence. Incline thy ear unto my calling. For my soul is full of trouble, and my life draweth nigh to hell. I am counted as one of them that go down into the pit, and I have been even as a man that hath no strength. Bring among the dead, like unto them that are wounded in my grave. Who are out of remembrance and are cut away from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in a place of darkness and in the deep. Thine indignation lieth hard upon me, and thou hast vexed me with all thy storms. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me, and made me to be a poor thing. I am so fast in prison, but I cannot get forth. My sight faileth for very trouble. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched forth my hands unto thee. Dost thou show wonders among the dead? Or shall the dead rise up again and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be showed in the grave? Or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders first be known in the dark? And thy righteousness in the land for all? Unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and early shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why glorest thou my soul, and hidest thou thy face from me? I am in misery, and like unto him that is at the point to die. Even from my youth up, thy terrors have I suffered with a troubled mind. Thy wrathful displeasure goeth over me, and the fear of thee hath undone me. They came round about me daily like water, and compassed me together on every side. My lovers and friends have stopped put away from me, and bid my acquaintance out of my sight. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be. World of God and Amen. Let my prayer, O Lord, enter into thy presence. O Lord, thou hast been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, forever the earth and the world were made. Thou art God from everlasting and the world without end. Thou turnest man to destruction. Again thou sayest, Come again, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight of others yesterday, seeing that it is past as a watch in the as soon as thou scatterest them, they are even as asleep, and fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and growing up, but in the evening it is cut down and dried up and withered. For we consume away thy displeasure, and are afraid of thy wrathful indignation. Thou hast set our misdeeds before thee, and our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For when thou art angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end, as it were a tale that is told. The days of our age are threescore years and ten, and though men be so strong, will they come to fourscore years? Yet is their strength and but labor and sorrow, so this thing passeth it away, and we are gone. But who regardeth the power of thy wrath? For even thereafter is a man fearing. So is thy displeasure. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Turn thee again, O Lord, at the last, and be gracious unto thy servants. 
his peace and life everlasting.
Hail Mary. Thank you for joining us for Lauds. We have Mass at 7.15 this morning. May you have a blessed day.